So everybody, thank you for coming today. I wanted to let everybody know that we are here trying to bring the best that we can bring to all of you as technicians how to how to repair appliances. Um, one of the things that that we're trying to do is we're trying to to actually come come up and make sure that that, that we're providing you with the necessary information that you get that you need to get um, to get all of your information um, from us and parts from us and getting us to um, you get you get us to to help you um, partner together and 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 help make this this journey a a, a, well, a good journey for everyone. Okay, um, let's see. I have one more little small thing going on here. Um, okay. So today we're going to talk about this the the GE. Um, I'm sorry. We're going to sp talk today about the GE Smart HQ. Um, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna talk and and discuss the 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 good por portion of our training here is going to be why you should actually buy this what it what it actually does for you as a as a servicer okay um, as as we start before we get started too far I want to go ahead and let everybody know that next Friday is the beginning of Encompass Days, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. Next Friday at 6 p.m., there is going to be a meet and greet, um, and there there's going to be like a block party type deal. Um, I look forward to, to that. I will be there. Um, want everybody to please go ahead, and if you're going to go, Please sign up. We want to make sure that all of all of the people sign up so that we know how many people are actually coming. Because the next day on Saturday, there is a full day of training. OK, that we have training that is for the front office. We have training that's for the service managers. We have training for technicians. Um, we have. Some of the people that will be there, um, GE will be there demonstrating this smart HQ device. Um, we will also have Vulcan lock ring in there demonstra demonstrating the lock ring process. I will be there teaching a uh, an ice maker class for Samsung ice makers. We will also have my counterpart um, teaching a a refrigeration class, um, and then there may be there. He may either teach that one refrigeration class, or he may also teach a um, a washing machine class. So, everybody, let please. It starts. It the the block party starts at six o'clock on on Friday. The the everything the training all the training begins. At eight o'clock on on Saturday, it, we're gonna get there. It's gonna be a full day of training. Um, trust me, you're gonna you're gonna really enjoy Encompass Days. This is all what we try to do to benefit you, the service company, and and we all we ask is for you to buy your parts from us. We do all that we can to to partner with all of our all of our service techs you know it doesn't matter to us if you're if you're factory authorized or not uh, if you are fine that's great if you're not that's it that's great too it, it doesn't matter um I, I train I train I'm I'm hired by by encompass to train so it doesn't matter if it's if I'm training 
people that that are factory authorized or people that um, are not factory authorized. Okay, so one of the things about this this device and and it is a little pricey. Okay, I'm not going to tell you any stories. It's it's a little pricey. the the down the 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 price of on it is about one hundred and ninety nine dollars on the Encompass website. Um, make sure that um, that if you're going to do that, you also are going to have to be required to have a GE um, a little service packet that attaches to your phone that attaches that activates the uh, the Smart HQ device. You'll then be able to have access to service bulletins. Um, it'll tell you exactly where the, the product location for their, their J45 port, port is, your RJ45 port. That is where that's located. Um, so you'll be able to know where to plug it into. Some of these are under, like on the refrigerator. Some of them are underneath. Um, you can drop, you can pull the tub plate out and then put the, uh, put it, put the uh, plug right there, uh, um, right behind the tow kick. Um, there's some that are on the top. There's on washing machines. Um, I believe on the, on the older ones, there were a couple that were on the back side. But today they've moved them towards the front. So it, it, you get to know where everything is. Okay. One of the other things that I get is if something happens and there has been an update for the software, me having this HQ device gives me access to that update. I can go in, plug this device in, run the update. And and I'm out, I'm set to go. I have um, I was there at Encompass whenever GE came and did a train the trainer, and the Encompass refrigerator needed an update. So he did it right there while we were doing it, showing us how did it how did it it updated the the system. And he was he was stating that sometimes that's all you need is an update. Is that that that's why you had this weird problem that you had was an update. So by me plugging this machine in, I can actually have the ability maybe to fix the problem without ever having to do anything else. Um, but it will tell me if I, if I, if I plug it in, it tells me if it needs an update or not. Okay. One of the other things that it does, it will give me all this kind of information that, that is vital information to me. Okay. Um, as a technician, one of the things that you always struggle with is whenever I get there, if I get there at eight o'clock in the morning, I might have one problem. If I get there to, at one o'clock in the afternoon, I have another problem. If I get there at five o'clock in the af afternoon, I may have a different problem. OK, depending on how many times the doors are open, if we're talking about a refrigerator. You know, as a, as a technician, that was one of the things that you struggled with was being able to to confidently tell the customer, this is the problem. I'll give you a perfect example. I, I worked for a company and, and I had a customer that came and said, listen, I have this, this piece of junk refrigerator. And this, this piece of junk refrigerator is causing all of my medicines to spoil. <laughs> so I was a, I was a, a director of service, and so I had my technician go out there and the technician went out there and said, man, there's nothing the matter with that. This lady has to be leaving the door open. I opened the door and it was frosted all the way back on the, on the evaporator. I'm like, okay, well, did you defrost it? Yes, I defrosted it. So the lady calls me about a week later. She got to me and said, you know, I don't know who you are. My, you, you got a piece of junk, la da 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 and I said, okay, ma'am, I've sent a technician out there. It, it's not, that's not the issue. The issue is the door has been left open. So I was actually in New York City at the time. Um, it's where I work. And she got it on the subway and drug it all the way to the office and said, hey, I want my money back. This thing's a piece of junk, la di da di da Of course, this is a small five cubic foot refrigerator. 
if you know by New New York City, that's that's a decent size refrigerator. Um, so you know, I arranged for her to get her money back. I took that refrigerator in. I put it in my office a year and a half later. It worked fine. I didn't have any problems out of it, but it all goes back to customer perception. My technician didn't do a good job of convincing the customer. I didn't do a good job of convincing the customer. Sometimes you just, you can't help a customer. Um, I've known a, a customer that had um, some issues with at a different place that I worked. Um, they they actually gave her three refrigerators, full size, 20 cubic foot refrigerators. Um, and it wasn't the refrigerator. It was her. The, the kids were leaving the doors open. Um, I was actually an inside technician at that time. I got it in all the paperwork. It told, said that it was the third refrigerator that they just refunded her money. But you have to be able to, to talk to customers and get them to, to understand what it is that, that, that you're trying to convey to them. Okay. So, like I said, this, this unit cost about $199. Okay. It actually, has a subscription fee that is is about six hundred dollars a year. Also, so you're looking at almost a thousand dollars. But let's say that I have two brand new technicians. Let's say I only have one technician that's brand new. Instead of me having him ride around with somebody, and and not build his confidence up, not not you know, get ready to get in and, and, and get hold of things and understand everything. If I'm riding, if, if I have him ride with a technician, I'm, I'm paying a salary for that technician that slows that technician down. Okay. Because he's having to explain everything to these young techs. Okay. It, I'm paying for that technician to ride around, which does no good for me. It does. It's, it puts no money in the in my pocket as a as a service manager. You know they they're not completing more tech kits. I can actually take this GE Smart HQ device. I can send it out with with a with it with him. I may ride with him. You know two or three times, and that will literally build help boost his cons his confidence. It will help him make make his name so that he he's do, doing it right. All it takes is getting, getting it confidence and knowing what you're saying is correct. And with this GE smart device, you can mirror this over to my phone. I can, I can run graphs. I can, I can, if I, it will tell me how many times the doors have been opened. It will tell me how many times it has gone into a defrost. It will. It just does. We're talking about refrigerators here, you know. And if if let's talk about a washer, it'll tell me if the washer comes up to comes up to the correct spin speed. It'll tell me that. Okay. So this this device to me is worth every dime that I'm going to end up paying with for it, because like I said, I have a technician. And that technician is not producing because he's riding around. I can help him produce money and give him a confidence. And I can also help him get a little bit better, um, a little bit better. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to add um, a little bit better, a little bit better um, understanding of, of the product. Okay. We're going to go over here and we're going to start the slideshow now. Here's the here's the GE uh, Smart HQ device. As you see here, it this is exactly what it comes with. It's $199.95. I will tell you that if you go to Reggie, bro, my brother Reggie Williams, and tell Reggie that you are in this class, you took the class, and you were impressed with it, and you would like to have a little bit of a discount. 
Reggie will work with you to try to get you a little bit of a discount. It won't. There's nothing he can do to get the the discount down from from uh, GE, but he can he can usually help you out and get you a little bit of a discount. Now you know it may not be but five percent, but five percent is five percent these days. It helps pay for the taxes. Um, so we really want to push this product so that you get everything that you can get correct and first time completes. Okay. That's the main thing for this is first time completes. Okay. I, it gives me a confidence of, I, I know that I've got everything out there and that I am, I am, I mean, I've, I've been a technician for, uh, I was about, 20 years of technician. I was a technician in 1979. It's whenever I started. So that, you know, I, I, my stuff is old that I worked on. Um, and this, this is the new cutting edge technology. Um, you know, there's, there's talks of, of other manufacturers doing this. Um, that they, they're testing it out right now with their factory techs on a couple of them. So that, I mean, I always tell people if I'm going to spend money, I want money. I will want to make money back. It, it's not good for me not to make money if I buy something and I don't, and I don't use it as often as I needed to. Okay. So as, like I said, this product is $199.95. Call my brother Reggie. He's down there on the end. He's got his number, 404-921-7412. Call Reggie and ask him what he can do for you. Okay. <clears throat> One of the things that we have with the misters, okay, everybody knows that as the temperature falls, okay, so if I'm at minus – 13 degrees, I have, I should be getting an ohms reading of 65K ohms, okay? So that's at minus 13 degrees. If I'm, if I, if something happens and I go to the other end of the spectrum and I'm at 104 degrees, I only have 2.6K ohms, Okay. So make sure that that you have a chart which this this GE smart device will tell you if it's reading the proper temperature and what the ohms are and you can want if you'd want to double check it hey go to go to go to the, go to it and double check it make sure that make sure that that the board's reading the ohms correctly off of the off of the the mister you know, it, it could be the bad thermistor or it could be something in the board that could have happened. Um, right now, I would tell you a light, lightning strike could be. Um, I was in a lightning storm last night. So, it, it you know, it could be any number of things. But at least I got this information readily avail available to me so that I can actually um, do a better job of, of getting this fixed the first time and and getting the customer happy, okay? So we're going to take it uh, just a minute here, and we're going to talk about um, refrigerators and and the smart HQ devices, okay? Um, we're going to I'm going to move to about what happens, okay? If, if something happens and my refrigerator gets above forty degrees, okay, what what is the number one thing that happens, okay? It is a breeding ground for bacteria. Okay. If I have if I have meat in the refrigerator and it gets above 40 degrees, it spoils rapidly. If I have a customer and she leaves the doors open all, all the time, and she literally um, she has both if she has a front store refrigerator and she has both doors open. All you're doing is sucking warm, moist air in, so your, your vegetables are going to go bad quickly. Okay, now the the federal government says, "Hey, 
the ideal temperature should be somewhere between 35 and 38 degrees, all right? The Food and Drug Administration says that you have got to have it below 40. That's there. That's what the Food and Drug Administration says, okay? <coughs> now, if you come on down, and we're talking about the refrigerator, okay? If I get something and the, the thermistor goes haywire, and, and doesn't shut the unit off, if I get down to 32 degrees, what happens to everything in the refrigerator? It freezes, okay? So at 32 degrees, depending on which state I am in, if I am in a liquid state, it will turn into a solid state, okay? If something happens and my freezer gets 32 degrees, what happens? It goes from a solid to a liquid. 32 degrees is a very, very, um, it depends on if you're going from a solid to a liquid or a liquid to a solid, it's 32 degrees. Food will thaw at 32 degrees. And food will freeze at 32 degrees, depending on which state you're going from. And you're going to have to pardon me, guys, um, with all this pollen that's in the air. Um, it's it's pretty bad where I'm at. So I apologize now. OK. Let's talk about the like I was talking about before. OK. Customer uses. We have a, a the customers telling me that that my food's getting warm, my food is my food's not not freezing properly. It's he says a weak cooling complaint. It, to me, it's a non an NDF, no defect found. Okay, so what what actually can be my problem? Okay, what well, you know. Without this smart HQ device, I can't tell you that she's had the refrigerator open for for 20 minutes or 15 minutes trying to make up her mind what she wants in the refrigerator. Could be a kid. Could be the same thing. There could be a kid that is standing there with the doors open. Um, I, I've caught my son several times, you know, with both doors standing there with the doors open. I'm like, hey, what are you doing? He's like, I'm trying to find what I want in the refrigerator. We'll close the door. We we. Go, figure out what you want and then decide and then open the door. So, I mean, it, a lot of these are, are customer education issues. So this device will help me. I If I have it on a tablet, it's a larger screen. I can actually show the customer, you know what? We I saw that you start to get a spike on this, a rise in temperature. And both the doors were opened at this temperature at this time. Okay. And it went from that temperature up to this temperature and then the doors closed. Okay. And then five minutes later, the doors opened again and it started to rise again because it hadn't cooled off all the way. So you can actually help the customer understand how important it is to keep the doors closed on the refrigerator. Okay. Um, it also helps you to, to stop having this, the same service call over and over because the customer says, well, he didn't do a good job explaining it. You can actually give a, a template to this customer. You can email it to them and say, you know, here's what I found. Here's what we saw. So here's, here's what you need to do to correct the problem. Okay. So this automatically will help you increase your first time rates okay so make sure that you yourself at least contemplate doing getting doing a uh, spending your money on this on this program okay um one of the one of the things that that we have here is is one of an example of the charts okay the, the, the example that I have here, it will show you, okay, here's your cycle history, okay? And if you look like, you know, 16, 
16, 16, and then 11, 16, 16, 16. So it stayed constant right there at 16 degrees. Okay. And then it then, you know, 15, 14, and then it went to to 63. Well, gee, why did it go to 63? Well, we all know that once that refrigerator goes into a defrost cycle, you're going to get a rise in temperature. Okay. It comes and, and comes back down, and then you get it 16, 17. Somebody probably opened the door, drops back down to 16, and it becomes it, it becomes pretty clear. So if you look, that's the freezer section. If you look at the refrigerator section, okay, you're looking at 38, 39, 39, 39, 40, 40, 41, 42. You're getting a slow, steady increase. And then you get it into the frost. And then it comes back down. You come back down to 42, to 40, to 38, 39, 38. And then it starts rolling on at 38. So you can actually have this sent over to the customer. You can show the customer this. You are. You can make sure that you that you um, you get everything that that you need to get. One of the other things that they show right here. Excuse me. Okay. Your your front your mm, excuse me your food max temp. Your food min, minimum to your frost free evaporator max temp, and it's all right here. Boom, boom, boom. Lays them out for you on a graph. Okay. It's that just shows you the operation of the of, of what has happened in the in the and usually on the on the middle that you can't really see right here are, are times. So it will tell you, you know, at this time it was 40 degrees or at this time it was 27 degrees. It, it lets you know exactly where you're at and where you need to go. Okay. Um, it, what you, you might need to check. Um, you know, this is not a, this is not something that I'm going to plug in and it's going to do all the work for me. I may still have to make some, some, um, some, some, I may, be, I may have to take my meter out and check with my meter to double check some things. But if I, if I walk into a customer's home and I go through and it tells me that I have a fault code of the thermistor on the, on the evaporator is bad. And I go through and look at this chart. It says, hey. Yep, the thermistor's probably bad because this is what the thermistor's reading. I can check my thermistor. Looking back at the other slide that I show you, um, I can see at 32 degrees what the what the thermistor should have been reading. I should I can go to the to it right now and tell myself exactly what that thermistor will be able to read during that um, during that temp, during that slide. OK, I hope that everybody here has has gotten a good understanding of this GE smart device. OK. I can tell you that the GE smart device works on any product made from 2015 and newer. OK, I'm sorry, 2017 and newer. 2015 and 16, there's ifs and ant, ifs and buts there. But 2017 and newer, you're good. Um, and if you think about it, we're in 2024. That's almost a 10 year old refrigerator. So you're 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 probably not going to see a whole bunch of of 10 year old appliances. Okay, I am really hoping that everybody will come and meet all of the people spend some time on on, on Friday uh, meeting your your cohorts and, and your counterparts that are that are in the service world um, all of the all of the trainers will be there um, Reggie will be there um, many of the higher ups will be there 
make sure that you spend some time register make sure that you get your name down there will be drawings so you know uh one of the things they're they were going to give away whenever i talked to reggie last week was they were lock were they were going to they were going to give away a lock ring set so that would be something great and there's always hats and and mugs and and shirts so i mean if nothing else you get you can get some of the uh get some of the the good good swag that we that that's being given away um there'll be bags that they're going to be giving away um last year reggie gave away a, a socket set i don't know what they're giving away exactly but let me tell you there's there's going to be plenty um the the one thing about Encompass, they don't charge anybody. This is totally free. The class that you're attending today didn't cost you a dime. Okay. The only thing that it cost you is your time away from, from making money. Okay. But I'm telling you, this GE Smart HQ is worth its weight in gold. Like I said, if you have a new technician, this is the way to be. I can I can help this technician become confident. He can he can become what he wants to be as a technician, and it, it gives you an idea of of the of the technician that you have that you're providing and what the customer sees. So, please, I think that this if I, if this was me. And I own the service company still. I would be investing in this. This this information to me is is there's it would be silly for me not to have this. Okay, like I said, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to this slide right here. Okay, so for this for this money, you're getting you're getting a world of information with the excuse me with the subscription okay it's one thing you've got to have the subscription to be able to to be able to use this device is it is it cheap no but like i was talking to one of the um one of the one of my former um colleagues um they they're putting um uh, a a air sled into every single one of their trucks. That's a thousand dollars. That's what you've got here. Who am I going to make more money with a GE with using this GE appliance, or am I going to make more money with using an air sled? Uh, probably, I'm probably going to make more money with this GE, especially if I have new technicians. I'm, um, this is, I wish that I had this whenever I was, whenever I was, I was a service manager, it would have made things so much easier and, and better for me. So if, if I don't, if I haven't impressed you enough to go ahead and at least think about buying that, go call Reggie and talk to Reggie. I mean, Reggie's as so, sold as I am on this. Um, we're both we both feel that this is something that that we really we we needed to push to get the information out to everybody make it so that everybody is is one step up you have the ability to to surpass your you know your your um your other your other service companies in your area if you're using this and they're not there's sometimes you're going to miss things this this kind of helps you with that I just want to make sure that everybody does everything that they can to make our industry not not what everybody has thought. Whenever I was whenever I was younger, everybody everybody thought that we all walked around with a plumber's crack and 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 uh, you know you pull your pants up. But that was never a technician, except for the te the bad technicians that 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 put that, uh, that label on everybody. Um, you want to do, 
the right thing for, for your customer. And if you think this is the right thing for your customer, then I, I encourage you, please go ahead and spend that money. It is to me, it would be well worth anything that I'm going to do. I just wanted to say thanks a lot. Um, this is a little bit of a short class. I wasn't able to download the full program. Um, the program is a little bit too, um, a little bit, it takes too long. Um, like if you didn't know, I had to have uh, four different sets of slides because the program was so large. Um, but if you will, uh, you will have this program that you can go and, and reference back. Um, each one of these videos is, is you can go back and look at the videos. Um, if you think that you missed something, if you think you need something, you can, you can right there, you can, you can get everything and get everything taken care of so that you can be the best service company that you can be. Okay. Does anybody have any questions before I, before we, uh, I tried to exit the scene there. If you guys have any questions, please put them in the in the uh, in the box. Mike, thank you, Michael. Thank you, I appreciate it. Guys, do you what do you think you did? What do you think of this? Put something in the in the in the box here. And I will tell you that starting here, um, probably next week, that. Whenever we're doing these, I'm going to be asking you questions and I'm going to ask you to put information into the box. <coughs> One of the things that 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 they grade me on is, number one, how many people are in the class? And if people walked away and retained the information that they needed or did it just go in one ear and out the other. And I hope that I hope that that is never the case for you. I hope that you literally um, you're getting something out of these classes. Um, if if you want to make a, a a statement and say, "Hey, I would love to see some training on blank," put it. My name, my name, my phone number, my email is all right there. Okay, you have that those ways to get in contact with me. Please do that. I just wanted to thank you again. Everybody have a great day. Thanks. We will talk to you. Um, hopefully, I'll see everybody next Friday. Or maybe I'll see you next um, Tuesday at our, at our class on Tuesday. Um, stay tuned. We've got a lot to do this whole rest of the year. Um, we're doing two classes a week for the whole rest of the year. I look forward to seeing everybody. Have a great day.